Hi there! I'm Teacher Riz, and I will be your digital teacher for this science lesson. Do you already have your pen and notes with you? Please do have them. We will be needing those later. In this video, we will be answering this question. What can we do to change the appearance of solid materials? May I hear your ideas? Sounds good! Before we answer that, let's talk about solids. Solid is one of the states of matter. We could find them everywhere. In our homes, school, church, parks, malls, fields, they are everywhere. Solids have definite shape and volume. They hold or keep their own shape and size. This is because the molecules in a solid are tightly packed together. Solids come in various forms. They differ in shape, size, color, and texture. Let's take a look at these examples. The materials you use in school, the toys you love to play with, that horse which excites you on a merry-go-round in the carnival, are all examples of solid materials. The utensils, fruits and vegetables found in the kitchen or in the marketplace are all examples of solid materials too. Can you name some more? Great! Now let's get back to our question. What can we do to change the appearance of solid materials? Well, it's experiment time! Time to explore! Time to wonder! For this experiment, we will be needing the following materials. Paper, paper clip, plastic bottle, whole peppers, and let's include the things which could be found around them, which may be helpful in changing the appearance of solid materials. Here are the steps which we will follow. Observe the given materials before and after the action. Second, identify the action taken to change the size, shape, or texture of the given materials. Third, record your observations. I will be performing the experiment, but I will be needing your help as we have to record the observations while we go on with the experiment. As much as possible, your table should look like this one. You may pause at this part of the video to write your copy, after which click on play to view the experiment properly. Let's begin. giving you a few seconds to finalize your observations. Make sure to specify the action done to that material and the effect or change which has happened to that material. I guess you're done. Let's begin. Let's take a closer look. 
The paper is rectangular in shape at first. I found the scissors, so very good. I cut the paper and it turned out into small triangles. Next is the paper clip. I found that it could be bent. So I did and I formed a heart shape out of that paper clip. For our plastic bottle, I removed the bottle cup, hold it with both of my hands and press it. After which, it could be observed that there is a change in size, shape, and texture of the bottle. For our whole peppers, I found a mortar and pestle in our kitchen, so I struck it or I pounded it, and the peppers turned into smaller pieces. Overall, here is our observation. When we cut the paper, there is a change in shape and size. When we bent the paper clip, there is a change in shape. When we press the plastic bottle, there is a change in shape, size, and texture. And when we pounded the pepper, just like hammering it, there is a change in shape and size. From that experiment, cutting, bending, pressing, and pounding could change the appearance of the given materials. Therefore, we could say that we can change the size, shape, and texture of solid materials through certain actions. We have also observed that no new material is formed, only the appearance of the solid materials. That is now what we call physical change. Now, there are also other ways by which we could still change the appearance of solid materials, just like that of the paper. Tearing, coloring, and crumpling are examples. Likewise, stretching could also give change, such as in stretching a rubber band, melting your chocolate when baking, and folding could also bring change to solid materials. So remember, cutting, bending, pressing, striking, tearing, coloring, crumpling, stretching, melting, folding, and twisting are just some of the ways by which we could change the appearance of solid materials. Can you name some other ways by which we could change the appearance of solid materials? Great! Now let's take a look at some of the actual situations wherein these actions are useful. Pressing Bending Hammering Cutting Now it's your turn. Answer the questions on this slide. Which of the following could be pressed? Which of the following could be pounded? Which of the following could be cut? Which of the following could be bent? Which of the following could be stretched? If you've reached this slide, congratulations! I hope you had fun learning today. See you again next time. Same place, 
same channel and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe